Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have been given the honour to present an award that is the most prestigious that can be given to an individual by the HRIA, that of life member. The HRIA has not given a life member award since 2018, so this is a very special moment. In preparing to present this award, I've spoken to several people in this room that know tonight's life member better than me. Some of the feedback that I received included, I could not think of a more deserving recipient. I wholeheartedly support this nomination. And it has been a pleasure working with him on the board for many years. And I still enjoy catching up with him at meetings, even as recently as a few weeks ago. For me personally, I have known tonight's recipient for over 15 years, and I've seen firsthand on many occasions his commitment to being one of the biggest advocates of the hire industry. What quickly became apparent is that my experience is not unique. In the words of many others, he is a true gentleman, respectful of everyone he meets, regardless of age, gender, or the role that they hold. He is always the first to put his hand up to help out wherever, in, what, in whatever capacity he can, always offering sound business advice and personal advice when asked. You may have heard some stories of a group of higher industry mentors who meet up a couple of times a year. They call these catch-ups mentor group meetings. I am told that this is really just another name for a long lunch. The group discusses everything hire and rental related, share details of any new projects that they might be aware of. And these meetings are normally held in the cheapest, yet tastiest, Asian restaurants in Western Brisbane. I was lucky enough to have been invited to one of these over the years. This group would spend their time chatting and in their words, solving all the problems of the hire and rental world. When the conversation strayed to things about sport, the recipient would quickly get the conversation back on track. His sound industry advice and networking abilities are well respected and sought after by many in the industry. His vast network of friends and contacts spans across the country and never ceases to amaze anyone who meets him. His involvement with the HRIA has been long running with committee and board member roles dating back to the early 2000s, holding formal roles on both the Queensland Committee and the National Board as Queensland State President. He was so good at getting young people, both men and women, to join the HRIA Queensland Committee, and he's one of the main reasons why I took on the role of Queensland President when I did. I have fond memories of the two of us attending a careers night at a local Brisbane school to promote the hire industry to school leavers. Anyone who has attended a HRIA convention would have seen both he and his wife in attendance. Also having been to at least one ARA show and way too many state meetings that I could count. Not only that, but he's also assisted in co-judging our Hire Company of the Year awards in the past. He is a long-term mentor in the industry, both informally as well as formally as part of the HRIA development programs. I can personally say that he has been a mentor of mine and I know I can call him at any time and he'll give me the time and his wisdom. However, it is 
the above and beyond support of others within the industry and the overall promotion of the hire industry that really stands out. One of the biggest advocates of the HRIA that you will ever meet. Regularly dropping in to meet hire companies and suppliers to the industry, telling them about the HRIA and the benefits of membership. The next convention or the next state meeting date and personally inviting them along. Many members have told stories of him dropping in to visit them when he was passing through town, even when on holidays, just to introduce himself and to provide assistance where he could. Tonight's recipient has been involved in the hire and rental industry for almost 40 years, starting with the BOC group, including Flexi Hire, where he worked from 1986 to 2010. He held various roles from gas and gear manager to regional manager in the industrial gas and equipment division located throughout Queensland. From 2007 to 2010, he was the general manager at Flexi Hire. Moving then to Sunset Equipment, where he worked as operations manager from 2011 to June 2012. It was then that he moved to Petro Hire, where he held the position of general manager from July 2012 through to his retirement from the industry in April 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the HRIA Life Member Award to Tony Crane. I normally know everything that's going on, <laughs> and I had no idea. Uh, all I can really say is that um, the hire industry is is been like a family for me since I since I joined it. I was um, I started at Flexi Hire, and I I asked Roger Tool at the time, the owner of Flexi Hire. I said, should I get involved with the association? He said, if you do just be the boss. And I said, okay. So I said I'd uh, take on the Queensland presidency. And it was the best thing I could have done. Volunteering and, and being able to support people is just an amazing thing. And it's what I enjoy most. Um, the mentoring programs, development of people in the industry. Um, I've been driven by that and had great support from the association to do that. So, I, I, as I say, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I can't forget my most important comrade is my wife, Patricia. She's just been a wonderful woman. And I'm sure that just about everyone in the association or everyone in the industry that knows me knows Tricia as well, because she's been there by my side the whole time. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll continue to do my best. I still want to be involved. Um, so thank you very much.